this is me accessing the hostel admin panel this is me downloading anyone's hostel registration form this is proof of pre-allotted hostels so to learn best practices while making a website and what mistakes not to do in a website stay tuned with this video so let us start with downloading anyone's form using a script so we append a demo form to the dom and just sent and request to the api the reason why this script works is basically because we have no effective middleware checking the jwt token uh, this vulnerability is still present in the website which allows you to book your room before the allotment times begins i have reported this to the hostel dev team but they don't listen they have already framed me for a lot of stuff that i haven't done due to which i was not eventually allotted a room initially so this section contains a lot of scripts which we will not be discussing. We will only be discussing the logic behind all of them. So this is a very basic implementation. Like when a person goes to a website, he hits a button to hit an API to like book their rooms. But if we are able to easily find API from the website, we can directly hit it with like IP connection. So even if they don't hand on the button without a verified logic with the booking list open or not. A user can easily book the room using MPA. This vulnerability is still present. And there is another step in which we can easily uh, skip the clerk and verify whether the verify the documents of the student without anything. So this is the step for that. Uh, simple set skip clerk uh, uh, update status so like and the room number and the role number. We can update anyone's uh, verification through this script. Uh, we can easily find it. I will show you the live demonstrations how to find like a API endpoints on the website we will go to the network and link So this is like a backdrop, we can easily find any most of the routes which are not present and can easily find it like uh, this one so here, come on, let's search for here or something like booking or flash or new so this is like easily find any of the route or APIs that are uh, present in the website now we will proceed with the admin panel vulnerability and the list of rebook rooms that are already present before booking in the hotel website. Uh, so this vulnerability being very critical, I want to be showing you any sort of scripts in this, like, but I will tell you the logic how this works. So like uh, hl.n.id.ac.in has a get route which has no admin token, it's an admin sign out. And like we can easily forge a JS object with that. And that JS objects we can perform two methods get schema and get table. So after getting the schema, you get like something like this in which like you get a whole schema. Why this is present is because in the admin they have like direct access to the whole thing, like they can easily like manipulate the tables and like the whole DB by develop at inside. So they made an now that was not explicitly protected by a JWT. That was not protected by a JWT token. So we can easily get the schema by initiating a, a JS object of DB and get schema. There's the method get schema which lets you get the schema. Then there is a table called admin permission this through which we can get all the admin credentials of that like you can see all the admin credentials here and all of them has the same password so uh but this shows is like the password is same so they have not done the solving so all of them are, so it can be easily broken with the shard 256 or shard 512 whatever they are using to crack this password because if they would have done the sorting then the password would have been destroyed. So you should always sort your passwords in the back and that is what I recommend. So this is my repo which can be mother, you used to uh, break the password is it in Rust because Rust is low level and is very MD efficient and helps us perform LD training. So you can use try to I will also demonstrate it like how it breaks the password. And then you can easily log in that. So this is my report in which I have proved that the hostel community has pre-booked their rooms and like there are a lot of screenshots proving that they are like already booked their room that makes the hostel looking really unfit for all the students. So 
uh, you can scan this QR to like see in which I have proven the uh, the presence of pre book room by the postal committee. So you can always check it out. The all the links of the GitHub of the Shah Breaker and Inrust and like this link will also be in the description. You guys can always subscribe for more content like this. So thank you for making it today and hope